Hi, I'm Dr. Lloyd Hay and welcome to the Hay Clinic. June is Scoliosis Awareness Month and you may not even know what scoliosis is or care about it, but you do care about your health and you know what, we can take our health for granted you know, until something like COVID comes along and it really gets our attention. Well, your spine is your core. It's literally what holds you up. But for a small percentage of people around the country, around the world, that core can start to buckle and can cause major quality of life issues, even breathing problems and posture and appearance problems later in life. So, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. What you can see on this slide right here is actually an x-ray of a patient I just saw this morning. He's only 32 years old. When he was a teenager in rural North Carolina, or a young teenager, he was diagnosed with scoliosis, but nobody really did anything about it. They didn't send him for an x-ray, they didn't send him for any treatment. Now he's 32 years old, over the last couple of years, he's had increasing back pain, and his posture is shifting, and he's very worried about his future and his job, and even his breathing. And so that's what we're trying to avoid, because an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I've got several really special people with me here today. On my far side here is Mariah, I'm one of our Shrove therapists here at Hay Clinic. I also have two of my patients. We have Colleen and Jonathan. And Colleen and Jonathan are actually working with the Care Guard Institute here this summer doing uh, safety research. And we're glad to have you, but they're also scoliosis patients. So Mariah, can you just teach us a little bit about screening and how that's done and how the parents can actually do it themselves? Yeah, so screening for scoliosis can be really easy even without an x-ray. You can take an app on your phone, or here at the Hay Clinic we use a schooliometer. What you can do with the level or the schooliometer is have your child or your friend or yourself bend forward to attempt to touch the ground. You're going to look at the degrees of rotation. You're going to find the largest area and record that number. If it's greater than six, it's definitely a good idea to get an x-ray because it means that you might have scoliosis due to the three-dimensional aspect of scoliosis because of the rib rotation. That's exactly why we see rotation. And it's really important to detect it early because the earlier detected, the better corrected. So Colleen, you've been one of my scoliosis patients for a while. And so you were actually diagnosed when you were a teenager, correct? Yes, sir. And we talked a little bit about uh, why we're concerned about scoliosis in the long run. So can you tell us what sort of treatments you've had so far? And then talk a little bit about adult progression? Sure. So when I was around 15, I was diagnosed with scoliosis. Before that time, I didn't even know what scoliosis was. But after my diagnosis, I entered a monitoring phase where we, I just watched the progression of my curve to make sure that it wasn't progressing too far. And then later, I entered conservative physical therapy here at the Hay Clinic, which is a series of Schroth exercises which are meant to lengthen the spine and strengthen the core. And the reason uh, this is helpful is because my curve is in the one of the ranges where adult progression is much more likely, the 30 to 40 degrees range. Pretty much anything above 50 will progress into adulthood, which is why it's very important to catch it as early as possible. And Jonathan, can you tell us about your scoliosis history? So I was born with a, a pretty a very mild case of scoliosis. And so over, over the period of time, uh, as I was aging, my scoliosis became very bad. And so um, I came to the, to the Lloyd Hay Clinic and um, I had a spinal fusion on my spine um, to, to fix that. Uh, one of the big issues with, with my case scoliosis is that I had a lot of quality of life issues, um, mainly with my respiratory system. Um, because my spine was so out of place, it, it began to, um, to crush my, my um, lungs. And so one of my lungs was um, almost completely unusable, and so I wasn't able to breathe very well because of that. So in this graph right here, we can see from the Weinstein paper, Dr. Weinstein and his colleagues in Iowa did one of the best long-term history, natural history studies for scoliosis. And what these graphs show, these are five different uh, scoliosis patterns, and what you can see is, what Weinstein found was that curves that are under 30 degrees tend not to progress, and you'll notice that they're all sort of horizontal. That's what we call the green zone. We want to catch kids in the green zone and then hopefully keep them there. So whether it's Colleen or Jonathan or anyone, let's catch those curves early, get them into conservative treatment, and hopefully prevent them from progressing uh, later in life. Then once we get into the yellow zone, which is 30 to 40, or the orange zone, which is 40 to 50, the odds start to go up. And as Colleen said, we get then get up to the 50s, where, as you can see, virtually all of them do. But overall, 68% of scoliosis will progress during adulthood. 
So not only do we want to screen and treat early, but we need lifelong follow-up. So if you're an adult with scoliosis, it is suggested that you should get it checked uh, once a year or two to see if there's progression over time so you can have better choices. So I think if we think about how we can turn awareness into action, we've covered several things. Number one, screening using a scoliometer app. Chances are you're not going to have a scoliometer, but your pediatrician might. So whether you're a chiropractor or you're a parent, you can get a bubble app, any bubble app, just a level basically, measure that curve, and if you find a hump that's bigger than six, or six degrees or greater, go get yourself an x-ray. And make sure they get the right x-ray, so it's the full length of the thoracic and lumbar spine, or, or scoliosis x-ray. Uh, a good full length x-ray is, is super. If there is access to an EOS, EOS x-ray, that's going to be less radiation, better quality like we have here at Hay Clinic and other places have around the country. And then for treatment, Shroth Physical Therapy can be very helpful early on to literally get the muscles to work in a different way so that you're actually learning a better posture so that you can grow straight. And that can actually help for adults as well if they're symptomatic. Is that right, Mariah? Yes, it can definitely help for adolescents and adults, adults with pain management and adolescents with, like Dr. Hayes said, letting the spine grow straight through elongation and learning new muscle patterns. And then for kids that are growing, we can also do 3D CAD CAM bracing, which is also called Rigo Cheneau, to actually really provide a three-dimensional correction using 3D technology to get the best possible correction. There's a synergistic value with the Shroth. And so, and finally, the lifelong follow-up. So if you're an adult, uh, keep checking it around the time of uh, later in life for women, when they get around menopause, there can be more rapid progression. So keep following it and make sure you get uh, that checkup on a regular basis. And then surgery really is for those cases where the curve gets, gets bigger, or if you're concerned about lifelong follow-up, or if it's really affecting your posture appearance, or if it's a pain issue and so on. So, but for this young man, this 32-year-old, when he saw me today, he sure wishes that he had had proper early detection and treatment because it may have really changed the whole course of his life. Right. So let's make sure that every North Carolina patient has access to this as well as other places in the country. And for more information, I think there is some good places to go. Number one, uh, the Scoliosis Research Society website, srs.org, of which I'm a member, has a lot of good resources, an e-textbook, Lots of helpful information for parents and families. Scoliosis.org, uh, the National Scoliosis Foundation, as well as our Hay Clinic website. So do make sure you take care of your core, take care of your family's core, get yourself a bubble app or a scoliometer app, check your kids, work with your pediatrician, your chiropractor, your physical therapist locally, and make sure you catch it early and get it treated. Just do that, and I think your, you and your family will be much healthier and happier for it. Thanks for listening.